Hi, my name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to strip and service your Crank Brothers pedals. This is a fairly easy job and you don't need an awful lot of tools either. In fact, a lot of them you'll probably already have. Here's what you need. Some grease, some Allen keys, a rebuild kit. Make sure you get the right one for your pedals. Uh, you need a, a different one for level 3 and 11 pedals because they use a needle bearing. That's what we'll be showing you today. A socket set or preferably a, a torque wrench and some sockets. A couple of flat bladed screwdrivers. A T25 torque ski. A hammer. Some paper towel or some rags. And some Loctite 243. The key to this is making sure you know how everything goes back together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our time and we're going to lay everything out in order as we take it apart. The first step is to remove the end cap. So get yourself a, a large flat bladed screwdriver. Can be quite tight. Make sure you don't slip. Stab yourself. So that's the end cap. Next, we're going to remove the axle. Get yourself an 8mm Allen key, pop it in this end of the axle, and an 8mm socket on the nut on the end of the axle. It's only done up to 4 newton meters. Remove that nut, and then the axle will pull out the body, there's a seal, it's in the end as well, leave that on the axle so we can remember where that goes, and then we're going to split the body in half, you wouldn't need to do this if you've got regular egg beater pedals, these can be quite tight, they're tight into 8 newton meters, And they've got plenty of Loctite on them as well. And once we've removed these, we'll be able to pull the body apart. So there's the bolts. And there's the body. Inside the two bits of body we have some bearings and seals that we need to remove. In the outboard piece we've got a sealed cartridge bearing that just pops out nice and easy and then we have a bush which lifts out. I didn't mean to do that at the same time but you'll see that behind the bush there's an O-ring as well. So make sure you've got those in the right order, ready for when you reassemble it. And then grab the other half and do the same again. This bush is a little bit deeper, that takes a bit more effort to remove. Do it carefully because otherwise you'll, you'll scratch your pedal body. So you can see that's a, a little bit deeper than the other one. And behind that should lie an o-ring. Next up, we need to remove the needle bearing. To remove the needle bearing, you get a punch with the kit. If you've got a, a cheaper pedal with a bush, then you can normally prise it out with a, with a screwdriver. It's not going to go all the way through unless we support it on something like a socket here. So, Hold a bit of 
tissue over it as well so we don't scratch our pedal and then drift it all the way through. Next up we're cleaning everything. Remove the seal, the old seal from the axle, remember which way it goes on. Give it a good clean and likewise go over all the other parts that you're going to reuse. Lift and clean, you just need to put it all back together, fresh grease, bearings, bushings and everything. First bit is to fit the new needle bearing. You just rest that into the body, get it started with a plastic mallet, and then using a socket or similar, 9mm seems to work pretty well. Tap the needle bearing all the way home. With the needle bearing or bush replaced, we can get on with replacing the rest of the parts. And the inboard part of the pedal body, a bit of grease and one of the O rings, and just pop that inside there. Get the taller of the two bushes and fit that into the pedal body. If it's a little bit tight, might need a bit of a helping hand. It's gone all the way in. These can go in our used parts bag so we know what's good and what isn't. And in the outer part of the pedal body, doing the same again. So pop the earring in and then the bush, the smaller of the two. And in the outboard part of the pedal body as well, don't forget to replace your cartridge bearing. That just pushes into place. Next up, grab the retention mechanism of the pedal and the, the larger part of the central sleeve pushes into the inboard part, the bit which you fit the bigger bushing to, and the smaller part fits into the outer part. Get your two bolts, bit of Loctite 243. and reassemble. These are tightened to 8 Newton meters. Next, grab your axle, any new seal, Slide it onto, onto the axle, make sure it's the right way around. Bit of grease on there. And also some fresh grease on the bush or the needle roller bearing. And then axle fits in like so. Screw your new nylock nut onto the end of the axle. Just hold it still with your 8mm Allen key. And this we talk to 4 newton meters. Final step is to fit our end cap. It's an important part of the pedal. Keeps the dirt out, but it also holds the axle in the right place. And it's going to be really tight because it's absolutely covered in Loctite. 
especially when you've got greasy hands. There we go. That's in there. We we'll pedal a bit of a wipe down, and it's ready to go back into the crack. So with both pedals done, you're ready to go out and hit the trails. Thanks for watching. See you next time.